So this is the wireframe. And first we're gonna convert this wireframe to bootstrap. And then after that, we're gonna add some style. So there'll be actually content here. So let's get started. Okay, so just get started by downloading the before folder from the course. I'm just gonna drag and drop that into the HD docs and we can get started. So let me go to Chrome and navigate to localhost. My server is running, so now we can get started. Let me just drag and drop that into the editor. And I'm going to start by the index file. In here, I've also provided the wireframe PNG. So just open that up and use that as a guide. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so the top is the header section. And for that, we're going to use a Jumbotron, the class Jumbotron from Bootstrap, allows you to create sections that go across. So basically, the position for those are static and they don't have a width, so that's why it goes across. So I'm gonna start by creating the header here. So we're gonna set the header class to be Jumbotron and app header just so that we can give it our own styles. And inside there, I'm gonna put a container so that we can center the content. The next section is the hero section. That's also going to be a Jumpatron, but I'm just going to change the header into a simple div. And the class name is going to be just hero. Now, here we have these features section, and I'm going to get started by making this first three. So let's go down here, and first let's make a container so that we can center uh, the content here, this feature section, the first section and the second section, which means that we're going to have two rows here. And inside the first row, we're going to put three columns. And each one is going to be four column wide. And inside each one of them, we're going to put the app feature class. So let's select all of these. And OK, so that looks good. For the other one, we're going to have for the second row, we're going to have uh, two columns, and each one is going to be the first one is going to be eight, and the second one is going to be four. So I'm just going to do that real quick. First one's going to be eight, the other one's going to be four, and inside both of them, we're going to put app feature, but in this case, these are the second uh, type. So we're going to do a feature two. OK, so that's fine. Now I've already added the color and height for these boxes. So that's in layout.less. That's in the less folder here. If you go to dev less app, there's the file. I've already added the uh, colors and the height. So the height, I grabbed the height from these values here. And I just picked the color, the color picker, and then I put the var uh, values in app variables. These colors are all defined here, and I'm just using them here. So let's go and see if that works. OK. so. That works fine. I've added the margin also here. Each of these features have a margin bottom. And the difference between the first feature and the second feature is just the color. Let's go and just add the footer here. The footer is just 380 pixels tall. And we're going to add that outside of a container. So it's going to be a footer, and we're just going to use again the Jumbotron because it's going to go all the way across, and it's our app footer. And again, inside there, I'm going to add the container so that we can center the content inside it. And in the layout, I'm going to target it and give it the height of 380 pixels. I'm just rounding it down the value, and also the color is defined here as light green. 
So I'm going to copy that and put that here for the background, background color. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so that looks fine. The other thing I also did, I reset the bottom margin for the footer and the header. If you see here, the footer and the header have reset the have reset the margin for them. Because if you don't do that, then you'll see a little space there, and that's not what we want. In the next video, we're gonna turn this into an actual fake company website, and we're gonna add more styles there. So I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.